What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. This video is part of a series highlighting weapons that are exceptionally good in Modern Warfare 3 zombies but are not necessarily meta or are not being blown up in socials that much so it might be flying underneath the radar. This weapon we're looking at today is the Rival 9. Let's go. Unlike the weapon we highlighted in the previous video, this is actually part of the Modern Warfare 3 package and is an exceptionally good submachine gun that does see a lot of play in like normal modes of Call of Duty and even some to a degree I think Warzone but for some reason this has not been that popular in zombies where I see the WSP uh, submachine guns being a lot more popular and obviously for good reason Swarm is an exceptionally good submachine gun but you cannot be sleeping on the Rival 9. One of the reasons why this thing is so good is because it has such an insanely high fire rate. Uh, so if you pair some really decent attachments with it that essentially let you negate some of the recoil that comes with a very heavy fire rate or high fire rate, then you're left with a weapon that can put a lot of lead down range and can absolutely shred tier 3 enemies and chew through the armor plates on them. This version on screen here is what I ended up settling for. And in the muzzle, we're using the AVR T90 comp. On the underbarrel, we're using the X10 Gravedigger. On the laser, we're using the Stovall Tack Laser. The magazine is, of course, the 50 round drum. And last but not least, I'm using the Rival G5 Series Grip uh, on the rear grip. The idea here being that I wanted to make this weapon exceptionally good at firing from the hip so you don't have to go down sides the entire time and that creates a very run and gunny kind of setup where you can be hyper mobile and essentially just fire from the hip or in a tactical spread and just essentially annihilate enemies. Now that does mean though that this weapon absolutely shines in the close range area and is not going to be that fantastic in medium to long ranges. So you are going to have to like mix it up and get a little bit closer and get up in the enemy's face. But when you do, this thing is absolutely going to just chew through them. Now you do also have to manage ammo with this weapon because it goes through its ammo so fast and because it's a submachine gun, the amount of ammo that you can carry in reserve. So this is something that you kind of like have to get used to if you're used to playing LMGs, if you're used to playing assault rifles, this will be a little bit of a challenge for you because you'll find yourself running out of ammo faster than you thought you would. So keep an eye on those ammo counts, keep an eye on reload areas on the map, and then essentially just live in the tier 3 area using this thing because it just chunks everything that you put in front of it from lowly, let's say normal zombies to armored zombies to bosses to anything like that. It is one of my favorite weapons to use when I'm running solo and I'm just trying to whack out a bunch of bounties because it is so fast. I'm able to just zip around the battlefield and I can just put a lot of lead onto a target when I feel like it and it absolutely melts said target. Have fun with this build. Let me know in the comments down below how you would change it and what you would put into the attachment slots to make the version of this that you enjoy. And as always, it's just super important to me that you have a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Till next video, fucking cheers.